growing onions from onion sets is not only easy but results in a very productive harvest. In today's episode, we will look at how to grow onions from onion sets. So these are the onion sets and in the right season around December or January, you can buy the best quality onion sets at your local gardening store. And we are going to be growing two varieties of onions from these sets. And these are the white onions as well as the red onions. Now in the bag of onions that you get, the onion sets, you will have a lot of onions. The goal is to choose the best onion sets that you will be growing in your home garden. Now some of these may already be wilting or rotting. You want to make sure that you do not include those onions in your garden. And as you can see here, we have separated out our good onion sets from the bad ones. And you want to choose onion sets that are about half inch in thickness or so. And those result in the best quality onions. Now to prepare our raised beds, we are using a very well draining potting mix in our raised beds. And I have a lot of recipes for the potting mix. And we are also adding some rock dust. Now rock dust is an organic amendment for your raised beds and it's very effective. So the only thing that really comes close to rock dust as far as providing nutrients go are worm castings. So if you have a well draining potting mix and you add some worm castings and rock dust, that's all you really need to grow good onions in your home garden. Now to space our onions, we will be planting them in rows. And for bigger bulbs, which is what we are aiming for here, we will be planting them about six inches apart. And as you can see, we are planting them approximately six inches apart. You can go about four to six inches, and that will give you a decently sized onion bulb. After you plant one row, the second row of onions can then be planted, as you see here. And the distance between the rows again is about six to 10 inches. Now it's recommended that you keep about 10 inches between your onion sets and that will result in decently sized bulbs. 42 days later you can see that the onion plants have grown quite well and at this time if you don't have amendments in your soil it's a good time to add some kind of a fertilizer. Now if you're using a liquid fertilizer I recommend that you use a liquid fertilizer every 10 to 15 days and if you're using a slow release fertilizer you need to use it at least every two months or so. Now the key to growing onions is to treat it as a leafy green, not as a root crop. And that is because if you add an all-purpose fertilizer, the fertilizers will provide a lot of energy into growing good leaves, which in turn will result in growing good onions eventually. Because all the energy from the onion leaves will eventually go into the bulb. And I'll provide links to all the fertilizers that you can use to grow your onions. Now 121 days since planting, you can see that the leaves will now start wilting a little bit. They'll start becoming brown. And this is a good time to start trimming the leaves. And removing the dead leaves, decaying leaves helps keep pests and diseases away. So I highly recommend that you watch your onion plants and then try to keep them clean by removing all the dead and wilting leaves. Now, there are not a lot of pests that attack onions, but if you see leaf damage, it's mostly caused by thrips. And a solution to that is to spray your onion plants with soapy water. Whenever I have grown onions, I have not really seen any insects or diseases on my onion plants. And with all the clippings that you have removed from the plant, these can be composted. And finally, you will have an onion bed that's clean and it will help your onions grow bigger and better bulbs as the plant grows. Now at 149 days, you can see that the onion plants have grown quite well and you can actually see the onion bulbs forming at the bottom of the plant. And I've also removed some of the soil from the bottom of the onion plants and this just makes the bulbs a little easier to grow. You can see that I've removed a little bit of dirt from around the base of the onion and the onions are now almost like they're floating on the ground and which is perfectly fine. You just need to make sure that the onion plants are well watered because they may look healthy, but they might be actually under watered. Now at 163 days since planting, you can see that the onion bulbs are now at a stage where they can be harvested and we will begin harvesting the onions. 
and the way to do that is to just uproot the onions and keep them on the raised bed where they were and allow them to dry for about a week or two now make sure that you're not watering your onion plants at this stage the last thing you want is your onion plants rotting due to the moisture around them so at this stage you should stop watering completely in fact i recommend that you stop watering about a week before you start harvesting your onions and they will be perfectly fine and you can just uproot all your onion plants just like that and keep them on the raised bed now if you see onion bulbs not forming there is a trick to start the bulbing process and which is to break the necks of the onion which means that you just bend the onions right about 3 to 4 inches from the bottom on the stem and that will trigger the onion plants to produce bigger bulbs now we are growing two varieties of onions here and they are not too different and as you can see the onions will start drying out now and it doesn't really matter if they are in full sun or complete shade but they generally do very well in partial shade when they are drying so if you have a place which gets partial shade that's where you should be drying your onions now after about a week or so you can take the same onions and then braid them and let them dry in the air now it's a very simple process i'm using some mason's line on which i will be braiding these onions and the braiding process is not really complex all you do is take the onion and wrap it around the mason's line and they should just remain there and the benefit of doing this is the onions are now elevated they are actually hanging in the air drying in the air and you can actually use this as a method of storage in case you want to and i've chosen an area which has partial shade which works best for this purpose but you can also dry your onions in the garage and they will dry quite well and don't worry too much about how the braiding process works or try to get an expert in how you do the braiding it's just a matter of taking the onions and wrapping it around the mason's line as you see and slowly the onions will start drying out and if you notice i haven't washed the onions you want to keep the dirt on and eventually the dirt will fall off but this is a good way to dry your onions you can dry them in bunches like these like you see here and they will usually dry in about 3 to 4 weeks but you can also start consuming your onions while they are drying so that's what we did we hung bunches of these onions in our backyard and we also started consuming some of these onions as they were drying so there we have it folks that was our episode on growing onions from sets let us know what is your preferred way of growing onions if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments box below we'll see you again soon happy gardening